All right, guys and girls, welcome to another episode of Astral Auto Repairs. <laughs> Can you dig it? All right, today, check it out. We got a 1998 Toyota Camry. Customer's complaint, running real bad, and check engine light was on. She got a code P O. Uh, what was that? P1300. 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 Igniter circuit one at fault. Now you got Igniter circuit one and Igniter circuit two, but I'm explaining those. What's coming up, and we're going to check how to, I'm going to show you how to check them. Coming up on Astral Auto Repairs. This channel is a member of the Astral Stars, which means we have a zero tolerance policy against the harassment of others. Anybody who violates that policy will be banned. For further information, please visit www.theastralstars.com. Oh, hey guys and girls, I'm Bet from I Seek Out the Truth. Welcome to another episode of Astral Auto Repair. Can you dig it? All right, guys, so we got a code for an igniter number one fault. Now, this car has, let me get this out of the way here. Get this holes out of the way. Get this out of the way. That's, yeah, that's good. All right, now you have two ignition coils on there. Now, us normal guys, we call them coils. Now, according to the code, though, they're going to call them igniters. You have igniter number one and igniter number two. Now, igniter number one control cylinders one and four and if you follow these wires they're going to go to cylinders number one and cylinder number four this one's going to go to cylinder number two and three and actually they actually wire marked on the wires oh on the wires number two number three number four and number one okay now a lot of times you're gonna to go to AutoZone or Advanced and they're gonna tell you, okay, you need spark plugs and wires. <laughs> that is far from the truth. What that code is telling you is that there's something going wrong with that coil right there. Now, before we go and change this coil, we need to verify two signals on this. One is a confirmation coil uh, signal, and the other one is a control signal that the computer is actually sending the signal to this coil. We wanna verify those before we go ahead and replace this. All right, so what we're gonna do, let's move this wire here. We have our connector right here. And the connector is gonna be the same thing for igniter number two down there, coil. This, you know, from now on, let's just call it coil number two down there, coil number one. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is unplug it, because we're gonna have to get to our wires onto this. And if you got your, looking at your Camry right now, the two wires we're gonna be concerned with is from starting from over here one number two is a white with a red tracer and then the next one a black that one's the confirmation that one is the control so let's grab we need to graph these now i'm not going to grab i'm not going to you get my vantage let's grab our autel al 539b we'll be right back all right guys let's get this let's get out we need to probe into one of these wires Let's grab our confirmation wire first. I want to get in there with our get in there and be able to pierce that wire. Wait, which is the confirmation wire? The white with the red. Okay. Okay. Now let's plug this back up. Here. Let's grab our Autel. I'm gonna hook that up. One end, we're gonna go to a ground. We're gonna hook it up to the battery ground over here. It's the best ground we can get. And the positive lead, 
we're gonna hook it up to the end of the wire that we just into this tester that we just pierced into there so let's hook that up and let's see I'm gonna hook it up like that oh no let me just hook it up like that all right now let's cut our all tail on matter of fact We're gonna go down to multimeter. Go down to AC voltage. All right, now I'm gonna crank it over and we're looking for a, a waveform. We're looking for a signal. All right, you ready? Mm -hmm. Tell me what you get. bunch of lines all right those bunch of lines that's the signal we were looking for so we know we're getting a confirmation signal we know we got a signal there now it ain't over yet now we need to know whether the computer is controlling that coil is it going to send that signal to the coil and to do that what we got to do is get this out of the way unplug our connector And now we're going to switch over and hook up to the black wire. So let me get that hooked up and we'll be right back. All right, guys, if you can see it on there right now, I got it hooked up to my black, the black wire right next to it. Now that's the control signal coming from the computer. That means the computer it is, if we're getting a signal, is sending that signal to activate that ignition coil. Hold on, it moved. Huh? Okay. Okay, can you explain to me what you got? Uh, hardly anything. There were these tiny little bitty lines. Little bitty lines? Yeah. Um, uh, let me, let me, let me make sure I got a good ground. I don't like that. Let's make sure we got a good connection down here. Huh, no, I don't have a really good connection over here. Screen a little bit towards my way. Let me see it. Can you see it there? No. Right there. Right there. Yeah. Little beady line. All right, guys. Let me make sure I got good connection here. And I'll be right back. All right, guys. I had to make sure I wasn't making a good connection over here. So let me go try that now. Okay, well now we got some kind of waveform. What you got? Uh, some lines, and the best way I can describe it is building looking thing. Okay, building looking thing is exactly what we want to look at. Um, and before we do that, what I'm going to do is go, oh, I'm going to go over now and I'm going to hook this on to the other other coil and we're going to see if we got the same thing. So what I'm going to do is get, reach over here and probe into this, this one. You know what, guys, I'm going to hook this up and I'll be right back. Why can't we watch you? Huh? Why can't we watch you? Fine, watch me. Now this one is a different color wire. This one is the yellow with a red line. That's the control. So let's okay, go get it hooked up. Let's plug our coil back up. Okay. 
Okay, let's try that. more buildings. Okay, so we know we got a con we got a control signal from the computer, and I'm gonna explain to you what the control signal is in a few minutes. As soon as we come back, we'll be right back. All right, the control signal. When you see those little buildings right there, what that means is that the computer said, "All right, cut that coil on." It ramped up the voltage, then it held it. It's that cross line right there. It held the voltage, and then down, it shut it off. Shut the voltage off. That's how many times it's doing it. That's the wave, that's what you're seeing when you see that kind of pattern. And we know we got that pattern on both coils. We know that we got a confirmation signal on both coils. So we, we, got, we are now confirmed that this has definitely got a bad ignition coil. Now there's something else wrong here because even with a bad coil, this thing should have started up and, and ran all the time. Just ran really bad. So there's another issue here and I gotta let the customer know. There's something else here. But what I'm definitely gonna recommend is changing both coils. It looks like the ignition wires are the original ones change the ignition wires recommendation all right we'll be right back all right so today we had a 98 toyota camry with a 2.2 engine and it had a, a code of p1300 so we checked the control something right yeah the control signal the control signal and, and the, the confirmation signal and we're definitely going to on the coils and we're definitely going to recommend she replace both coils so if you guys have any comments or questions, you can post it below in the comment section or you can email Timmy at tim at astroautorepairs.com. Hope you paid attention. If not, watch it again. This is Sylvia from Astro Auto Repairs. If we can't repair it, nobody can. See you next time.